Hello guys, welcome back to Tutorial. So guys, in this series of awesome React packages, we are back again with another awesome React package that is called as React Responsive Masonry. And so guys, let me explain it with example. So guys, whenever you visit some website, then you can see layout like this, where width of the images or any components are similar, but height is varying. That means you can see this image has a greater height and this has a lower height but they are perfectly aligned like a brick this design is also called as masonry so you can see here in the package name it is the react responsive masonry that you can make responsive flexible responsive layouts with help of this package or the library so as you can also see example here there are three columns and when you reduce the size of this page then you can see this is going to minimize to two columns and after that one columns and when it is in the three columns the images heights are perfectly aligned with some gaps so it is looking like a masonry or masonry layout so as to implement this layout we are going to use this package and and for that i'm going to use the code sandbox to create a new react project and now we're going to create a new react project you can use this method in any of the react supported library and frameworks like next.js and any other libraries which supports the react packages so as you can see here my code sandbox has already spinned up the react project so i'm going to change something here and make it my own hello coders I'm going to remove this so guys now we are set up with the react project now we can install this library in our project so you can install this with this command npm install or i react masonry or if you are using yarn then you can use this command and if you are using code sandbox like me then you can just copy this from here and in the dependency you can write it here and it is going to show us this package and we can write we can click on this and it is going to install inside our project so yeah after this we can now import this we can import this component from this library responsive masonry and masonry so just copy it from here and right on the top so now we are going to use it so for example let's write responsive masonry and we are going to close this tag inside that we have to write masonry now inside this we can write any of our component or any of our children's which are going to use in the masonry layout for example let's use some p tags here and guys in this component we have to pass some props to style it properly we can pass the column count and it is going to set how many columns we are going to show at what size of the screen so whenever it is going to out of 900 pixels then it is going to show three columns and when it is going to be greater than 750 pixels it is going to show the two columns and when it is greater than 350 then it is going to show one column so let's just copy from here because it looks perfect for this example and now there is still some error and guys this error is coming because there is a dependency for react responsive masonry that is probe types and we have to install it so it is going to install this dependency now and it is going to work fine so now we can duplicate it for some times and it is going to work fine and when you open it in the new window you can see there are three columns and when we 
reduce the screen size then you can see two columns and one columns so guys now you can see our our design is working fine but now we are going to use some images to make it look greater so now i'm going to fetch some images from lorem pixel or with the help of an api that is called as a lorem pixel if you want to learn more about that you can visit my website tutorial.com and you can find that tutorial inside this tutorial section and you can click on this article and now you can see you can use this lorem pixel or pixel photos in various ways so for now i'm going to fetch some images with the help of api and i'm going to render those images inside our masonry design so for example you can fetch with this api url and it is going to give us some images for example here are 10 images and it is going to give images from the page one and now i'm going to fetch some images from this url inside our react project and guys after fetching images we are going to store that inside a variable that is going to be use state or state so for example i'm going to create a state here like images and set images it is going to be an empty array and i'm going to fetch those images from that url by using use effect and inside the use effect we are going to write a function which is going to fetch images for us and we are going to write try catch block here and we are going to fetch these images as this function is async we have to await to fetch all those images because it is going to respond with the promise and you can fetch images from this url and you can write the number of images you want to get for example i'm going to get 16 images here and it is going to fetch from six page and now we have to store this response somewhere for example we are going to store this response in the data variable and we have to convert this response into json and after that we can set these images inside our state here and after that we have to write catch block in case if it responds to the error we have to catch it and now we can run this function inside this use effect so we are done with the use effect and now our image is going to be fetched from this url and it is going to store inside this and now we can use this state to render images inside our component so guys if you want to see what this api returns then you can console log this images and you can see in the console it is returning list of images in the form of object we can use this object to show the images and these these are the size of images or height and width of the images and this is the url of image of the original image and it is the download url which is we are going to use to show the images so now we are going to render these images with the help of map function so we are going to write images map and after this we are going to pass each images into this function and now we are going to render an image component here and inside this image component we are going to pass key prop and we are going to pass key prop as the image id and after that we have to pass an l prop to this image tag so that it is going to be the l attribute for the image which is going to be rendered it is going to be the author name and after that we have to pass the source of the image that is images dot download url of this image component now you can see images are shown inside our project and now we can style it little bit by passing the style attribute here and we are going to show this images as block and padding of the 8 pixel so now let's see how it looks So as you can see this image is showing perfectly as we wanted and as you can see in the splash website 
and guys this is the same layout which is used by splash and many other websites and with the help of this component you can implement this layout very quickly and very easily so guys you can see here this is the layout we just made and guys i hope you understood this video very well and if you have any doubt you can write down in the comment box i'm going to leave this project inside the description you can just come and copy from here but guys make sure that you understood it correctly so you can use whenever you want so guys thank you for watching this video i hope you like this video stay healthy keep coding keep watching tutorial